Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Vitale, and I'm very excited to talk to you right now because I want to teach you how to attract money now. It doesn't matter what's going on with the world, it doesn't matter about the economy, it doesn't matter about the banking system, it does matter about you, and it does matter about how you use what I'm calling the law of attraction to attract money into your life. Now stay with me, I'm going to teach you how to attract money. Now first of all, who am I? Dr. Joe Vitale. Maybe you saw me in the movie, The Secret. This movie has been on Oprah three times, Larry King twice, it's been all over the world, it's a bestseller as a book and as a movie. Maybe you've seen some of my books, including Expect Miracles, one of my most recent books. Maybe you've heard of me because of the book Zero Limits, a fascinating story about a man who healed an entire ward of mentally ill criminals by learning how to love and forgive them. Maybe you know of me because of my book Life's Missing Instruction Manual, the book you should have gotten when you were born. Maybe you know me because of my best-selling book, which is the book that got me into the movie The Secret, The Attractor Factor. This has five steps for creating wealth in your life right now. This has been a bestseller for many, many years. But the real reason that I'm here and what I want to talk to you about is my latest book, Attract Money Now. Now, I'm not here to sell anything to you. I'm going to give you access to this book. I'm going to tell you how you can read this book on your own. Yes, there are hardcover copies available. I'll tell you how to buy that if you want. But I'm going to give you the formula, and in fact, I'm going to give you the seven-step formula that's revealed in this book. I'll give you access to it, and I'm going to teach you most of it right now. So what's going on with money? First of all, you may have lost your job. Maybe you're concerned about your job. Maybe you've lost your banking account, your stocks. Maybe you've lost your pension. Maybe you're concerned about all of this. I can pretty much divide my life up into the four meeting Dr. Joe Vitale and after meeting Dr. Joe Vitale when it comes to attracting money. When I met Joe, I was living in a single wide trailer in a trailer park and I got evicted from that trailer because I couldn't make the payments of $385 a month and my son and I were pretty much homeless. Hi, I'm Brenda Young and I have written my first ebook called The Secret to Life 101. I'm also a musician as well as a coach, mother of two, and happily married wife. But it wasn't always that way. Back several years ago, I was challenged in a very difficult area of life that I know many of you are now, and that's in my finances. I was really struggling. My husband and I had lost our jobs. We had two properties to support, and we had just filed bankruptcy. I was not sure how we were going to make it through. And if you've ever been in that position, you know that it will affect your relationship, it will affect your health, and all of that was deteriorating in my life. It was very challenging. I wasn't really sure where to turn or what to do. I began reading a lot of books, trying to find out what I could do that would help make my life better, make our life better. Hi, my name is Scott York. In 2005, I was working in the corporate world as a manager, working too many hours, and not seeing my family enough, not working for as much money as I felt like I needed, and I was really at a crossroads in my life. I wasn't following my passion, and deep down I knew that I needed to follow my passion in order for my life to blossom and to bloom. Well, what can you do about it? In my seven-step formula, which I reveal in my book, Attract Money Now, I tell you exactly what you need to do to get out of this mess. This can make you immune to what's going on in the economy out there. Forget the media, forget the news, forget what everybody else is talking about and complaining about. What you have to do is find the courage within yourself to get out of this and to start to attract money. Now, I mentioned what's called the law of attraction. What is that? It's not woo-woo, it's not metaphysical, it's actually a law of psychology. I'm Victoria Ballou Schaefer, and I own Pedal Ranch Publications and Pedal Ranch Productions. You can find us at PedalRanch.com. I always knew intuitively that there was an energy that connected everyone and everything. I never had a name for it until I read The Attractor Factor that Joe Vitale wrote. And suddenly it was defined for me. I knew that it was the truth, what I was reading. I understood finally what it was that connected us and everything around us, that the law of attraction allows us to consciously create our lives. And from that moment forward, it changed my life forever. 
When I worked with Joe Vitale's programs, I was actually able to get some sense of hope, see some sort of possibility. And from there, I just kept pushing. I was committed to this getting better. It has to get better. So one of my other favorite techniques is called levelizing, which I understand it's going to be in Joe's new book. So it's basically something as simple as taking a visualization and adding emotion to it, really getting into the feeling of it. That for me has worked so well, and I'm so glad there's a name for that because for so long I was calling it emotionalizing. I didn't know what else to call it. But it, it really helps you anchor those vibrations of what you really want to attract in your world. I found that if it's love that you want to show up, just get into the feeling of already being in love, and then it shows up. If you want wealth, get into the feeling of what it's like to already be wealthy, and that's what shows up. What's amazing to me is I'll get into that state, maybe in a meditation or before I get out of bed, I'll just get into gratitude and start nevelizing what I want to create. And one of the first things that comes to mind is more income, more money. And sure enough, I'll go check my email and there's more money. I'm always amazed and it happens just like that. This is a God-given power. But most people don't know how to use it. I didn't know how to use it. I was homeless 30 some years ago. I was in poverty for the longest time. I didn't know the law of attraction. You probably don't know the law of attraction, but you can learn it. I can teach it to you. I'm going to show you how you can use this in your life to attract money now. I'm going to do it today, right now. You're going to find this hard to believe, but your mindset is what attracts money. Money will match your mindset. Now, what does that actually mean? It means your beliefs about money, about yourself, about deservingness, or what influences whether you have money in your life right now or not. Now, this is not your fault. This is not something you are to blame yourself for or to feel guilty about. You've been doing this and learning this process unconsciously. You learn beliefs about money and deservingness from family and friends, from the school system, from the government, from the media, from religion most of which wasn't being done or taught to you to actually help you prosper. It was done to help you survive, but it's barely achieving that. If you really want to attract money now, you have to begin with the first step in my formula that I reveal in my book, Attract Money Now. And that first step is to turn your mind into a money magnet. Right now, it's not a money magnet. It's probably repulsing money, repelling money right now. So why is that going on? Why are you sitting there worried about money? Why are you paying attention to the media? Why are you having job concerns or job worries at this point? What's going on? Well, what's going on is between your ears. Now, please don't be offended. I had to learn this myself. I am teaching you how to do this now. If you stick with me, this will begin the process to change your mind so you can attract more money now. So let's look at some beliefs that might be operating. This is going to be shocking to hear, but almost everybody has this belief, and it's the belief, I don't deserve it. Now, when you first hear that, it's like, oh, come on, I deserve money, I deserve a job, I deserve a good home, I deserve family and happiness. Maybe you can say that consciously, but deep down, unconsciously, you don't value yourself. This is across the board. Every single person I've talked to, people in my Miracles Coaching program, people who read my books or see me on TV or in the movies and they write to me, they're all saying the same thing. When they start to look inside of their gut, in their heart, a part of them doesn't believe they deserve success. A part of them believes they're not worth it. A part of them believes they're not lovable. Now, go ahead and argue with me if you like. But if you're not happy right now, if you're not prosperous right now, if you're not attracting money right now, most likely it's because you have a counter belief in your mind. Now, this is something I've discovered and I tell everybody, if they'll listen to me, is that we have counter intentions. Consciously, you might say, I want a new job. I want more money. I watch The Secret, or I know about the Law of Attraction, or I read your books, Joe Vitale, but I'm not getting everything that I want. You know why? Unconsciously, you have counter-intentions, counter-beliefs, and until you remove those and release those and erase those, they will remain active in your life.
the way my, the way I was before was that I had a lot of different belief systems. I had a lot of different ideas. I could give people ideas and help other people make money. There was something that I had about making money myself. Uh, Joe would identify this stuff. He knew that when I wouldn't take action on certain things, or if I was a little slow on it, he would prod me a little bit and say, what belief is in there? What is stopping you from not taking action? So I was living this, this life in between, sandwiched in between the belief of, uh, that I, you know, deserving this. There's a level of deserving this that I think we all live in between. And what Joe was saying to me was bring this up, bring this level of deserving this, what you think, what you deserve, and how much money that you can make by shifting and taking action and believing that it's possible. I remember reading the steps to attracting wealth specifically and I thought I'm going to try this to see if it works because I'm as skeptical as they come I'm open to believing but you have to prove it to me first and I took Joe's steps one by one and implemented them and found perhaps his last step of turning it loose turning loose of the desire to have it happen and just allow the universe to create it for you. I found that to be very difficult at first. I kept trying to control it. But once I was able to just turn it loose, it happened, and it happened like magic. And I'm still the same person I was before I met Joe. I just have access now to technology, strategies, information, and the ability to access forces that I don't even really understand. And I attribute this to reading Joe's books, reading them again, listening to him when he talks. My book goes into all of this. My Miracles Coaching Program goes into all of this. And again, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm going to give you access to the book. Why? Because I was homeless. I was in poverty. I know what it's like to struggle. I know what it's like to be unhappy. I know what it's like to wonder where the next food or the mail or the housing is coming from. I know that feeling and I want to help you out of it. I am far beyond it at this point. So I can help you get to a place that I know is peace and prosperity and happiness and wealth. If you really want to make a difference in the world, contribute a healthy, wealthy, happy person to it. You. So it begins with your beliefs. That's the first step. Another one of the beliefs that's active inside almost everybody when it comes to money is the belief money is the root of all evil. You've heard this one. Money is the root of all evil. It's a biblical phrase. However, it's incorrectly stated. The Bible actually says the love of money is the root of all evil. Well, let me tell you something that's going to shock you. Wealthy people don't love money. Wealthy people don't love money. They love freedom. They love time. Money gives them freedom. Money is simply a tool for wealthy people. My biggest problem now is time. I mean, I've got so many opportunities. And as I mentioned, I only work two or two and a half days a week. The rest of the time I'm spending with my family. I'm out on the lake, uh, you know, whatever I choose to do, traveling. And it's just amazing. Um, people ask me what I do for a living. And I hate that question because I don't know how to answer it. I basically tell them I'm retired. So no, you don't want to love money in itself. You want to appreciate it. You want to value it. You want to use it as leverage. But if you think money is evil, if you have that in your unconscious mind, and virtually everybody does without exception because of that biblical phrase that's been incorrectly taught to all of us, if you have that in your mind, do you really think you're going to attract money? It's evil. It's bad. You're not going to want it. A part of you will push it away. You will get rid of the money. You will have a problem, an accident, a health concern. There will be something that will push that money out of your system and out of your life. This money is trying to come into your life. Money's not bad. Money's not evil. But if you think it's bad or you think it's evil or you think money is going to taint you, you won't want it on an unconscious level. This is where the work begins. This is why you have to do this first step in my book, Attract Money Now. This is why I have a miracles coaching program. This is all designed to help you awaken.
Awaken to your inner power. Awaken to the source within you that says money is good and you can use it to make a difference. I use money certainly to entertain myself and my family and my friends, but I started a movement to end homelessness. I contributed to good causes like a cause to stop poverty in the United States. I'm doing big things with money because I'm okay with money. Another thing that I've learned uh, from having the, the, the personal time, having the privilege of being around Joe as a friend and a business partner is his giving and how much he gives. He's the most giving man I know. No matter where I go, whether it's me or other people, he has something usually for somebody to give. And what that's taught me is that in me, I want to give back because he's giving me so much. It, it creates a giving and I think that's part of the uh, attracting money is the idea of that if you give to other people, if you give enough, there's a reciprocity. There's, they want to give back. I understood that this was something that I knew I would use to help not only me, but my family and my employees. So the very first step in understanding how to attract money now is to understand you have to turn your mind into a prosperity magnet. Now I talk about all of this in my new book, Attract Money Now. You can buy the hardcover version of the book at attractmoneynowbook.com, but you can read this free, no charge, on your computer. And if you don't have a computer, go to the library and read it on the library's computer. Simply go to attractmoneynow.com attractmoneynow.com. You'll see this cover. You'll see me standing there. Go ahead and fill out the form. You'll be able to go ahead and read the entire book. My seven step formula. The first step I've already told you. All seven steps, when you apply them, will turn you into a money magnet. Now again, I'm trying to help you. You don't have to buy a thing. I'm paying for this show. I'm paying to air this show. I'm paying for the website. I'm doing everything I can to help you. All you have to do is read the material and implement it. Every time Joe puts out a new book, I buy it and I read it. I realized that this man had cracked the code. He had the technology for attracting money. And I can pretty much say that from that moment on, my life has changed dramatically. And then I found something that really offered something I could wrap my mind around. I could actually embrace and apply simple methods and technology in my life that made a huge difference. I found Joe Vitale's work, his written material, his audio programs, his video programs. I've watched them all and every time they make a huge impact on my life. To put Joe's steps into practice, I decided that I was going to focus on a specific goal. And that goal to me was to, I began visualizing a check for $300,000. I thought, this is what I want, this is what is going to come to me, and this is what I am going to manifest with these steps that I have learned from Joe. And it took about three months, four months, but it actually happened. One of the most effective techniques for me was visualizing the check. I would see the check, I saw the color of the check. It was a pale yellow, just above a beige shade. I saw it made out to me, Victoria Bellew Schaefer. I saw a date on it. I saw the amount in digits and then I saw it written out like they do on a bank check. I saw a signature on that check and I would visualize this every morning at the end of my meditation. Let me give you another tip. Think like an entrepreneur. Now don't put this off. Don't think, oh I can't go into business. I'm not an entrepreneur. I don't know anything about marketing. I can't do any of this stuff. I don't think like that. I didn't know anything about marketing or selling or business 30 years ago. I wasn't trained that way. I wanted to write novels. I wanted to write plays. And I did write both. But what I had to do was learn how to think about opportunities. Because opportunities are everywhere. Entrepreneurs hear, see, feel, taste opportunities. For example, 
Whenever you hear yourself complain about something, or you hear somebody else complain about something, that's an opportunity for you to create a product or service to solve that complaint. People that are entrepreneurs see that and hear that and take action on that. It was one of the principles that I got from Joe that's very important is that he takes action. If he has an idea that he gets inspired by, if he has an idea that he knows uh, gets him lit up and, and has the possibility of making some money, he wants to get it right away. He wants to get production started, let's get the product out and sell it money like speed. Another thing with, with Joe is that he has a little pad, a notepad that he carries and he, he taught me, I, I never even knew these existed, they're called mole notebooks, little mole pads and uh, he takes them out and as soon as he hears an idea that pad is open and he starts writing it down and he starts to take action on it so another idea that Joe has given me about making money is to, to document these ideas to write them down so they so that they're there and then go through it and start to send it out start to put feelers out into the universe into life with other people to say does this idea have legs or is this idea something that you're going to put on hold for a little bit and maybe go in another direction with somebody else um, I came upon Joe Vitale and his works so I read the attractor factor and gave it to my wife to read and um, it was due to that book that has caused me to reevaluate what I was doing um, I left my job in the corporate world and I decided to pursue my passion I wanted to attract what I felt was my calling in life which is fitness and so in 2006 I started using some of Joe's uh, techniques that I learned in terms of uh, internet marketing and attracting uh, those people and those resources into my life to create multiple streams of income in the fitness industry. So you have to train yourself to think like an entrepreneur, but my book helps you do that. And I have a coaching program and there's lots of other ways to do this. What I'm trying to do here is give you stuff that you can take to the bank. So what I would encourage you to do is number one, investigate, check out, look into Joe's products, look into his books, The Attractor Factor, uh, check out the movie The Secret, and by thinking in terms of applying his methods and choosing to go down the road that you were meant to go down to, whatever your passion is, you will have an amazing discovery, and that is that all of a sudden, uh, opportunities will start coming your way. You'll start thinking in terms of, geez, I can create products right here from my home, right here off of my home computer, whether it be an ebook or a DVD or some sort of seminar. Um, the opportunities are really unlimited. So what is my life like now that I've been working with Joe Vitale's technologies for four or five years? The difference is amazing. I have now basically created the life um, that I've always dreamed of. The beautiful thing is, this is translating out into my entire extended family. Everybody is showing up with more wealth and more abundance in all of their lives. I can travel anywhere at any time. I can do whatever I enjoy doing for as long as I want, whenever I want, with whomever I want. And it's truly a magical existence for me now. The income, just the raw money that I've learned to attract, dwarfs my previous income dramatically. The cool thing about that is the income comes almost effortlessly. I find myself working maybe two hours a day. Betsy and I are living in a very nice two-story house on the golf course outside of Wimberley. Instead of driving around in a truck with a quarter million miles on it, we've got a new Volvo, and a nice truck. We take vacations whenever we want to. You apply the seven steps. You start today, and you start by reading my book, which you can have access to for nothing. I'm taking away all your excuses. Go and do this, and tomorrow is going to be sunnier. It's going to be brighter, and it's going to be wealthier, because you're going to begin to attract money now. My first book was The Absolute Beginner's Guide to Internet Wealth which has been a tremendous lead generator and list builder for me and it's also sold fairly well on Amazon.com and that was the warm-up 
couple of years ago, the largest nonfiction publisher on the planet heard about my story and asked me if I'd write a book about that. So I wrote Your Portable Empire, How to Make Money Anywhere Doing What You Love. And there must have been a thirst in the market for that because it became the best-selling business book in the country. It's about clarity. It's about being able to use my mind. So once I became comfortable with using the law of attraction, I realized that it happened to me naturally all the time. And again, it's the same mind I've always had. And it's the same, you know, I still have the same degrees, the same experiences. But there's something about Joe's technologies that I've learned from his books that allow me to focus, become clear, and just do the next right thing. And over time, that's generated a tremendous business for me. And this came from a lot of practice, but it became pretty ingrained in me, and it's part of my daily life now. It feels like it flows through me. And even when I have an obstacle arise, which always happens to everybody at some point in their day, maybe several times in the day, and I just, I can't say enough about how awesome it is to be witness to that, to have these techniques and this methodology applied all around me so that we're all experiencing this wealth and abundance. This life that I've created, it's open to anybody out there, anybody who has a passion or a desire uh, that they would like to follow in life. That I look at this as I look at everything else and that is it's an opportunity to attract what it is I want into my life. It is conscious creation. And this is something that I learned from Joe and his law of attraction principles is that you consciously create and when you come to the point that you feel this flow through you this interaction with the universe really is what it is. It just moves through you and you realize that you are consciously creating your life and that everyone can consciously create their own lives. Go get my book. Go read the book online. www.attractmoneynow.com Go buy the hardcover if you prefer. Attractmoneynowbook.com But whatever it takes, whatever you're thinking right now, take positive action that is in your favor, that is nourishing you. You owe it to yourself. You deserve success. You are lovable. You are wonderful. You are going to be prosperous. Change your mind, take action, and expect miracles. The preceding was a paid advertisement for Dr. Joe Vitale's Attract Money Now book, brought to you by Hypnotic Marketing Incorporated.